What's going on everybody, Kev2k here, back with another informational siege video. And today I wanted to go into the topic of keybinds and uh, how I personally have my keybinds set up. Um, as a long time FPS player coming into a game like Siege, um, some of the control schemes are very different. Uh, you have leaning, which you don't have in CSGO, you can go prone, um, you have a melee, you know, like... There's a lot of ways t for you to maneuver your character, and I felt like the default control scheme in this game, um, it's very one-size-fits-all. So, while it does work, it's not optimal. So, after some time of playing this game on control, uh, I mean, on a keyboard, sorry, I realized that the default control scheme is doesn't suit me very well, so I switched around some of the buttons. And, um... The game is just much more comfortable for me now to play, and hopefully by watching this video, it'll inspire some of you to uh, find your own settings. So without further ado, I'm going to just get straight into it. First off, starting with the mouse, this is a glorious Model O, one of the first few batches that came out. I have a green cable, because the black cable that came with it, it had issues, so they just sent me a new one. Um, so I have this as my knife. And this is my prone button. Um, these are really easy to access because it's right above my thumb. And if I need to panic melee somebody, I, I can just reach my thumb up. Or if I need to go prone to get an angle, I don't need to like uh, move my fingers away from WASD because it's already on my mouse. Um, mouse 2, aim. Mouse 1, shoot. Pretty self-explanatory. Mouse 3 is my gadget but I rarely ever use this because sometimes I'll accidentally scroll and it'll like switch the weapons and that's just really annoying like that um, this DPI button I rebind it to my throwables and I will explain why I do that <coughs> as some of you guys may know um, G on your keyboard is your throwable button but as you can see my finger is holding G right now which leaves like two of my other fingers for WASD and this is really hard to move around and um, I can't lean like this it's it's very I look like spider-man trying to play the game whereas if I'm holding the throwable with my mouse I have you know full ability to strafe around and whatnot so I just feel like that's a better way um, I know this game has advanced gadget deployment right here gadget deployment advanced but for whatever reason it this does not apply to throwables so um, I think it's just better for you to put it on one of your mouse buttons so that you could strafe while you move so you could do shit like 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 that because trying to do that holding G it's just it's not easy and I feel like I find myself dying a lot just trying to like get a throwable kill holding G like this it's just not comfortable so <coughs> those are all of the buttons that I have on my mouse okay so moving on to my keyboard I did actually make a few changes so if you guys were watching the hand cam you noticed that I was not leaning with Q and E and that is because I binded it to my primary gadget and my secondary gadget. And the reason why is that <coughs> I moved my lean down to C and V. And I will tell you the reason why. So, when, I don't know how many of you guys here have a PS4 or played Siege on a gamepad. But basically the control scheme is the stick is to move, obviously. The stick is to aim and clicking down on the left stick leans left clicking down on the right stick leans right so on a gamepad all all of your movement is controlled by one button so to speak <coughs> on a keyboard you have one two three four buttons that you need to operate in order to move your character so what this means is that the same fingers that you're using to strafe and move around is the same fingers that you're going to be using to lean if you're using Q and E. So what that means is that say I'm trying to go, say I'm trying to strafe left and I'm trying to lean left at the same time. So if so if I'm holding it WASD like this, I have to move my middle finger over, which means I can't move forward, 
and my fingers in a really weird position. Now some people get like I have friends that have gotten used to this. And honestly, if you if you play like this, props to you. I tried it, I just couldn't. So what I did was I made it so that since in this game you don't jump, you don't actually use the space bar. So I put lean on C and V and I use my thumb to operate my lean so that way I have independent movement and independent leaning just like the gamepad like how the game was meant to be played so that's one thing that you guys could my, uh, maybe try and experiment, uh, experiment with um, I know people that put left lean on their tab key and right lean on their space bar I know it sounds weird I've tried it it kind of works but it just wasn't for me some people put lean on V and B because your thumb is longer. I like it on C and V. You could put it on X and C as well. Uh, <clears throat> so one of the downsides that comes with playing uh, with lean on C and V is that when when you're you know in combat and you're trying to walk, you have to hold down Alt, which means you can't lean. So a simple fix: simply make it toggle so that you can have full control or you could have it so that the caps lock key which I bind it to a secondary function to walk when I press that my character walks so I could just simply move my pinky up toggle sh uh, walk and then still have access to leaning so um, what else oh on attack uh, on default when you press 6 it's to deploy drone I don't like having to stretch my finger out all that far so what I do is I binded it to 4 so that 4 is to throw my drone and 5 is to access my cams I feel like this is just more efficient so to speak because in a tactical game like Siege the last thing you want to do is fumble around for buttons everything should just be natural it should just be a, an extension of your hand and your mind so by optimizing your key bindings you're just um, really helping yourself in the long run so to speak so this was a short video of how I have my key bind set up hopefully it inspired some of you to change some of your settings around if you guys have any questions please let me know I hope seconds. this video has helped you and please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the video